an alley oop and the follow up death now, stare. Listen, junior Rising. high schooler, I don't need the stare down afterwards. I don't mind that in the pros, maybe a little in college. Junior high school, it's a little mean, a little bullying. Don't love that. I couldn't dunk in eighth grade. What, what, how old are you first dunk? Ninth grade, 15 years old. That's, and with respect, could never dunk like that. That Baseball. kid, spectacular. Like that? I could never dunk like that? Not like are that. you crazy? No, I'm not. Astro. I'm gonna have somebody send some high school highlights of me. Send some highlights. You you are out of your mind. Okay, no Th problem. That is the, okay. All right, I'm excited to be proven wrong. Jenna, you, go ahead. I, I mean, do you want to finish? You no, guys, please. Are you sure? I just want to see George Springer. No, I've never done anything like George Springer because my mean, mom wouldn't let me play baseball. She said it was dangerous. <laughs> Look at him get up there. Listen, That's Nico Goodrum catch. thought he had a home run. No, 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 sir. George Springer says, give me that. He's a very good athlete, too. Multi-sport guy, if I am not mistaken. I like the guy in the Detroit Tigers uniform, the big white in the outfield there. He thought he was going to get a little souvenir. All right, Abilene University softball. Kayla Robinson, watch this. This is no George Springer robbing Kristen Prieto by running through the wall. That's what I'm talking grab. about. Now, that's Hall of Fame hands right there. Runs through it. Now, she knows the fence is out there, but she's so focused on making the catch. Great job. Cece, what would happen if that was a hard fence? Oh, man, it would break her bones, her ligaments and everything. Like, she would be hurt real bad. She'd bounce off it, I suppose. She would what? bounce right off it. She wouldn't fall. She wouldn't have the chance of breaking there's her own There's a rubber wall. What? I just said a reinforced wall when we were talking about this earlier. Listen, no, no, you hey, I'm an Abilene down. University expert. That was, that's in my backyard in Kansas City, Missouri. Y'all should have let me do that highlight. Y'all just messing it up. Time for drawing a blank. Not even going to ask. We're just moving forward. The NBA draft lottery takes place tonight with the best odds going to the Knicks, the Cavs, and the Suns. Top prize is Duke Phenom Zion Williamson. So, CC, the franchise that most needs that number one pick is blank. New York. Knicks, they need it. Scott Perry, Steve Mills, man, they have it. That's why they traded the, the roster. That's why they have it like this, man, because they need this. KD, Zion, and the potential little appetizer, uh, Kyrie. Oh, basketball's back in New York City. And Jenna, you know what? Tell because me. we've been so faithful through yes. the bad times, you and I, we got season tickets. It's a date. Listen, you can't give a starving man that much food to this first meal. They're already going to get Kevin Durant. You mentioned they might get Kyrie Irving. They don't need Zion Williamson going yeah, along with them. How about the team over my shoulder, the Atlanta Hawks? A great city. A great basketball city to Team Zion with Trey Young. You all of a sudden would have a new contending franchise in the southeast of this country. Zion would be, be 600 pounds eating all that fried <laughs> chicken <laughs> down in Atlanta. No, that ain't no fun. great sports town. It, it can be. Look, it's my got, mom lives in Atlanta. I got brothers and sisters in Atlanta. They ain't supporting no... It's a college town, bro. Right, because it's Zion's a, not there. Zion will bring the city together. It's about football, baby. Now, Zion going to try out for the Atlanta Falcons. If he going to go down to Alabama and play for Nick Saban, I would be like, yeah, then you stay in the South. We talking about basketball. Zion and Trey We talking Young. about round I know ball. what we're talking about. He going to eat Trey Young. Man, he's from South Carolina. You think he didn't have some some food there? You think he couldn't? Oh, you see why he's that big? Right. You think he's that's like that eating, size. Best of luck. Now, salad? I'm hungry. The Western Conference Finals. Final start tonight, Trailblazers and Warriors, game one from Oracle. Nick, with Kevin Durant, rules out. The player you are most excited to watch is blank. Curry, Steph Curry, not the brother Seth. Now, it would be amazing if Seth could outplay Steph in one of these games, but I don't anticipate that happening. Steph is coming off, to me, what was an all-time moment for him. That 33-point second half, vanquishing the Houston Rockets to the scrap heap of history. I want to see what he can do now going into this game after a really bad first half in that game. They're going to need a full 48 minutes, or a full four quarters, I should say, from him throughout this series, especially until Durant comes back. Steph Curry is the guy I want to watch the most this evening. Jenna, you have some concerns about the Warriors potentially maybe looking ahead, taking a breath after the dynamic Houston series. Well, I'm going to give you the guy, Draymond Green. He prevents that from happening. He is the pulse of this team. He has played good basketball. Let's see how he's shooting the basketball from three-point range. He was very, he was on the attack against the Rockets in round number two. Also, how many technical fouls does he have? Oh, Draymond's got, I think, three away from a suspension. Okay, so, so watch him and Ennis Cantor getting into a couple yeah. spats. But Draymond Green, I believe, is the wild card to keep the Warriors from not looking ahead to a three-peat. That's the story in the West. The story in the East, Raptors and Bucks. They'll score off tomorrow. Kawhi and Giannis will look to continue their postseason dominance. 
Chris Carter, the MVP through the first two rounds of the playoffs, has been blank. And, and I'm only going to do this by just the slimmest of margins. Yep. Maybe that hand of God that made that ball boop, 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 boop. That Kawhi Leonard shot right there, and because it was forced out of him by Philadelphia. If Boston had given up a fight, if the Boston team that Kendrick Perkins had played on, <laughs> if the Boston team that Paul Pierce and them, the one they betting all this money, thousand dollar dinners on, if that team had showed up and pushed Giannis, I could be like, okay, well maybe. Giannis cruised through that series after losing game number one. Kawhi had to do this, had to pull it out. So just by the thinnest of margin, Kawhi Leonard, Nick. The reason that Milwaukee cruised through that series is after falling down 1-0, Giannis in the next four gave you 30, 12, and 6 on 59% from the field, and shockingly, 33% from three. I also agree, it is the, because Kevin Durant's been injured, it's these two guys this far apart, and then everybody else. I'm gonna go with Giannis, mm -hmm. but I won't argue with you too hard. To me, this is a coin flip between who's been That's better. That's a win there if Nick not arguing. Well, because I think Kawhi, I think you can make a really strong case for Kawhi and a really strong case for Giannis. Giannis' team has been more dominant. He is the focal point of everything on the team, so I'm gonna go with And Giannis. it's hard to top a seven-game buzzer beater. Sure, right. absolutely, for Kawhi. All right, moving on to LeBron James. According to reports, the Sixers could explore swapping Ben Simmons for LeBron. So, Chris, with the hypothetical that the king is on the trading block, the best destination for LeBron would be blank. Let's go Houston Rockets. Ooh. Houston Rockets, you know, Daryl Morey, he can't stay pat. They ain't got a whole bunch of draft picks. How can they do it? Can they get the Lakers to take Chris Paul? Some type of, of deal like that. LeBron, Houston Rockets. I know the Houston Rockets are trying to get better. So I'm going off where people maybe don't think. Houston Rockets, James Harden, LeBron James. I know it's a long shot, but LeBron, I believe, is going to be a Laker. So to even to get in this conversation, it's going to take a long, I, long shot. Nick. I think it's a, your answer is a great answer. Remember, Daryl Morey is one of the few people that agrees with me and is correct that LeBron James is the greatest player ever to play already. But I'm going to go with the team that I thought he should have gone with last offseason. I don't think he's going to be traded, but if he were to be traded, Philly would be perfect. Embiid would cover up a lot of the defensive efficiencies, flipping out Ben Simmons' lack of well-rounded game for LeBron's totally well-rounded game. Yeah. They already have some shooters there. I think that would be the perfect basketball fit. Houston would be a good one as well, but he's going to be a Laker next year. Oh, yeah. I, I like it. I like 76ers. We can go down on the Amtrak to excel yeah. them. Go down. And on the East Coast. Minutes. He's already planning the yeah, trip. Yeah, my man Happy and them got a pen, got a, got a nice at the Ritz. Get a Ritz. Next to Joel Embiid. Right now. next to Ben Embiid. Mm -hmm. Coming up, which team has the best chance of dethroning the Patriots <laughs> in the AFC? That's next on First Things First. I could see that happen. Envision yeah. it. That would be great.